Check out what we got in the net on the pink trick worm. Tell them what you just did. I just kept the flipping dang mouth. There you go. Get it out of there, man. Good job, dude. I've got a hold of Need me to help you? Hang on, no, you. <laughs> Gotta get them by. <laughs> I'll help you, dude. How exciting was that? Show them the uh, rod that you caught that on real quick. Our Shakespeare ice fishing rod. What we like to call our little mini mites. Dude, let's get it off the hook now and get him released. I just caught a flipping bass. That is a large mouth bass. Check out how big its mouth is, dude. You could put your whole fist inside that thing. And we've been catching those little bitty sun perch all day. I decided to throw the pink trick worm on. And you know if there's any bass around, they cannot stand to see the pink trick worm go past them. And just like always, it landed probably the biggest bass in the creek. Walk back towards me. No, 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 towards me over here to the left. No, 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 no. I'll get the net. I'll get the net. Dude, I gotta get the net, man. You just keep fighting it. Keep fighting it, man. Dude, get him, come over this way. Oh, oh man. Uh, oh no, your, your line's gonna get broke. Oh no. Oh no, I got him, dude, I got him. I got him, dude. Dude, I got him. See if you can get him. Get him, dude. Great job, Cayman. Man, dude. You are like a little Bill Dance Jr., man. Wow, what you got there? Have you seen our videos? You're seeing them now. Subscribe if you haven't done so, guys. Leave my little man a comment. Look at him go, dude. Great job getting him out all by yourself. You want me to help you get the hook out so we can release him? Sure. Nice catch, dude. Way to go, man. You're the man, dude. So I just catch my second bass, and this is a different one. Oh, yeah, I'll show you all the mousies. If y'all see it, look at that mouthpiece. It is this, this thing is just like, uh. This is the second one we caught of the day. Oh my gosh. And I show y'all some of our other fish we caught today. Dad, open the bucket. Okay, inside here, we've got all kinds of minnows that we've been catching. And we've got two large sunfish that we're going to put in with the Mata Mata and hopefully Satan doesn't eat these guys like he ate the ones yesterday. Better get that bass back in the water, buddy. Here, I'll help you. Let's get this bass released, guys. All right, guys, just got home with the fish now. Getting ready to get them all unloaded. We're going to take the two sunfish inside and all the rest of the minnows are going in the pond. You guys can see Satan back there now with one of his best friends. He's had that crayfish in there for about eight weeks. Here is the catfish that Chloe caught yesterday. We went ahead and opened the lid up, got everything ready so that Cayman can take this net, go out there, get the new sunfish out of the bin and release them inside with Satan. Dude, do you think Satan's going to eat these fish or not? I yeah, hope he boy. doesn't. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to catch these something and put them in the Mata Mata Turtle. Dang, these things are like super hard to catch too. Dude, who caught those fish? I did. Well, get I it out here and show it to us. No, there's no way. Did you just catch both of them? No. Oh, dude, come on. Let's go get it inside with Satan. Come on, man. Come on. This is called a sun perch. That's right. And the viewing fish is mostly all sun. There it goes. Go in there. In there, buddy. That thing splashed water. And Please don't eat our new sunfish. I'm going to keep it rolling just for a second, just in case. I think it's okay. Let's go get the other one, dude. Okay. I'm going to catch the other one that was, like, super pretty. Let's catch this thing. Try not to catch a bunch of our minnows that we're going to put in the pond. Get that thing, dude. Put your bill dance.
You're not talking to us at all. We're all wondering what all you're seeing right now and what all you're doing. Oh, got it. Keep oh. us entertained. Dude, let's see those fins. Man, that's a nice one. Well, I've Look how them. red, guys. And he's got so much electric blue. Look how orange. Let's just get him out of the net real quick. First, I'll get the minnows out, too. Well, we'll let them go here in just a second. Should we just put a little bit in Let there? those minnows go. Let those minnows go. Check out how pretty this is, guys. It is full of electric blue bright fluorescent orange damn it i mean dang it uh open the door for me son open the door for me son check it out guys let's get this guy inside the tank look how pretty look at those lightning bolts man come on let's hope you don't get eaten dude come on game what do you think you think he's gonna get eaten uh, i hope not so here you go man enjoy your new tank so now we've got some beautiful sunfish to admire as well as the mata mata turtle and the crayfish and the new catfish so we're going to be needing some names for these guys as long as they don't become turtle food so guys be posting in the comments below what you want to name the catfish and the two new sunfish that we have in the back of the aquarium in Cayman why don't we go outside now and let all those minnows go inside our pond? Okay guys, we got all those fish inside with Satan now. And now we're going to carry this rubber make container over here and let all these minnows go that we caught inside our pond. Let's go do this guys. Should we let them go over here in the kitty zone? Oh, um, yeah. Let's take everyone over. Hey, show them those fish. There's a bunch of fish right beside you. Oh, there's a... I don't know if y'all can see any. Well, there is some fish. <laughs> oh yeah, guys. Um, we put the slack line over in the pond one time. So y'all might want to come to our house and try to walk this thing. <laughs> Over here in the kitty zone now, guys. Let's go ahead and let Cayman get all these fish released. All right, dude, I just left your net inside the Rubbermaid there. Just pop the lid off. Start catching those beautiful minnows that you've caught over there at the creek. And let's show everyone just how pretty those minnows are. I'm not sure if these are mosquito fish, guys, or what, but hold it over here, Cayman. Let's see. Guys, if anyone watching can identify those mosquito... Uh, if anyone watching right now can identify those minnows, please comment below and tell me if those are mosquito fish or not. Let's go ahead and release them into the pond now, son. Awesome, dude. Look how many's there already. Just in one scoop, you probably got about 10. And man, inside this bin right now, we have well over 100. All right, Cayman, continue doing what you're doing, son. Anything else you want to say right now while you're getting those released? Right now and hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video but we're not over with this video <laughs> <laughs> what you got going on over there man <laughs> guys as you've seen already we've been doing some creek fishing and our existing ice fishing rods they are very very flimsy so i ordered these two new fishing rods here this is the zebco dock demon and this is the Shakespeare Ugly Stick Dock Runner. And I noticed immediately after I unpackaged both items how much sturdier that is. So I can't wait to get down there and throw a pink trick worm out in the creek because with these rods right here, I'll be sure to rip their friggin' lips off. And inside the creek the other day when we were fishing, we kept missing a lot of the small sun perch due to not having small enough hooks. So I ordered this Nicola 500 pieces off Amazon and now look how tiny that is right there Not sure if you guys can tell on the camera, but those fish have no chance now So how long you been skateboarding? What? How long you been skateboarding for? Huh, guess what? A day <laughs> Got a nice little, got a nice little hill right here Probably when we're done we might do some basketball Because mostly today's about skateboarding, playing basketball, 
And guess what? I'm a knockout champion. Knockout champion. <laughs> And I feel like ending today's video with giving you guys all an update on the Mata Mata tank. A few days ago, I added a sunfish and a bluegill to the tank. And yesterday morning, Satan did kill both fish. He did not eat them, but he did successfully kill them. It's going to take quite a large fish to put inside this tank for it to survive. Look at the catfish right there. If you can see its whiskers, guys. He does an excellent job. Let me see if I can back up and give you a shot here. It's going to be a big glare, but look at how well hidden he is up there. And if you guys can see it, I added a lot of rock to the Mata Mata tank, and it looks way better. And right here beside the Mata Mata in the amphibian tank, you will hardly ever get to see this guy out and about, but... Here is the red-legged walking frog. And let me see if I can open the door up and give you guys an even better shot of him. See if I can get you a shot of his legs here. Oh, if I can see underneath his legs, they are the brightest red you have ever seen. And I've never seen him out here in the water before. It's actually cool that I'm getting the chance to give you all that shot. I wish I could get a better shot of its eye right there. What a cool frog. And the green tree frog is up in the corner as well. And as you already know, there is several different salamanders inside this tank. There's usually quite a few hiding back there. You see one moving there. The catfish just came out a bit more. And I was told by a few other people that the Mata Mata turtle will not eat algae eaters. And they said that with it being a bottom dweller that it knows not to eat them. I don't know how true that is, but I have witnessed myself now him either eating or killing Every fish we have put inside this aquarium, except for that catfish, which is typically a bottom feeder. So there may be some truth to that. I am not sure. If anyone knows if that is fact or not, go ahead and comment below and let me know if it's true or just hearsay. I'm actually getting ready to feed all of our fish now. And I've got to go in here and get this video uploaded to show all of you guys what's been going on with us this past few days. And with that being said, I appreciate each and every single one of you being here, and I can't wait to talk to each and every single one of you again inside that next video.